This is the Snug Pack Bergen backpack. Uh, Bergen is evidently British for backpack. Snug Pack is a British company and they've been around since the 60s making outdoor equipment. And from what I can tell, the Snug Pack Bergen is a civilian version or takeoff on the Berghaus um, Crusader Bergen, which is something, is a backpack that was issued to the British military, I don't know, the 70s, 80s. And um, it's a pretty impressive backpack. I actually got it about a year ago at the thrift store, brand new. There's the, there's the label that was still on it. Um, got this thing for 50 bucks. From what I can tell, if you can get one, they're about 175 now. Snug Pack evidently does not make the Bergen anymore. It makes um, a slightly smaller version called the Rocket Pack, but it's basically the same bag, just smaller. Now the, the Bergen comes with these two side pouches, which as you can see, zip on. So you can take this pack from, I think, let me make sure I don't get this wrong. I think this is a 70 liter pack, but when you put these two guys on, it becomes a 100 liter pack. Does that make sense? And they zip on over here. And we'll be looking at that. So what I'm going to do as we review this is I'm going to fill it, fill the bag with stuff just to give it shape and form. But before I do that, I want to show you the insides. Uh, it is an internal frame pack and it's got aluminum stays. And uh, it's kind of interesting. I I'm not used to seeing aluminum stays that are connected in a double T, but that's what they are. And like most aluminum stays, you could pull these out and actually shape them to your back. And also, it has a, um, a hydration pouch, pouch, but it's on the side, which is not normal in U.S. packs. And you can see it's got a little opening here on the side for the uh, tube to come out. So it's got a real generous pouch there uh, probably hold a 30 liter and other than that this main bag is just one main bag so what we're going to do is we're going to fill her up so that i can show you the features all right so here the pack is loaded up so that you can kind of see some of the features um it's got these little uh elastic pouches on either side and they're great to use they kind of become unusable if you put the uh, sustainment pouches on but uh, but that's cool that's cool and this uh, hardware up here that's for the uh, sustainment pouches so they go right over that but they've got two uh, two suspension straps right here and um, got some of this uh, shock cord you can put something on there's the other uh, pouch got a couple of these um, carabiner hooks uh, got some uh, hardware right here so I mean if you were carrying I don't know uh, maybe hiking poles you could run those up that way I can't see this pack in a scenario where you actually have um, ice axes or anything like that but and of course it's uh, because it's got the the um, uh, top cover it's got a uh, places to put more stuff and I've actually stuck a, a snug pack poncho liner that I happen to have it's just a snug pack day and the 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 zippers are pretty good let's see are they YKK they don't say they are and I'm kind of doubting they are because as I read uh, this is made in China um, so, you know, that's a downer, but uh, for Made in China, it looks pretty good. Now, looking at the suspension, it's pretty good. I really like the depth of this back pad. That's a lot of padding. And remember, you've got that uh, aluminum, those aluminum stays in there. So a lot of airflow through that channel there. The, uh, the waist belt's a little skinny. It doesn't go very far, but that's okay. It's, it's more of a, a kidney belt. Um, nothing on it. It's it's naked, so there's no places to hang any gear. There's no P PALS uh, 
webbing anywhere. Um, like I said, this is a civilian version of the British military pack or a civilian knockoff, whatever you want to call it. But the, um, the shoulder straps are pretty nice. They're, they're nice and padded. And on the bottom, let's see if I can find it, there is a zippered pouch in which comes an attached, a Velcro attached, rain fly. And that's pretty cool. So this rain fly, uh, you can take it off, I assume. Yeah, you can take it off, but I don't think you have to. I think you can just leave it attached and it will cover the entire um, pack and it has the shock cord to, uh, to secure it. So that's kind of neat. It's a very flat compartment. Not much else would go in there. I would say that compartment is built for that. And then there's um, places that you could attach, say, a, a, a mat or something, something light and something thin. So, so it's a pretty, pretty interesting little pack. Pretty interesting little pack. So, as I said, that's supposed to hold about 70 liters of gear. And according, where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? According to the book here, um, it weighs 88 ounces. Now, I apologize. Normally, I like to weigh stuff because I don't think enough people weigh gear and packs when they talk about them because the weight is a very important factor. But I can't find my scales right now. So unless I find them before I finish this video, I'm going to have to forego actually weighing the pack. So again, there is the pack loaded up all in its glory. So now let's go ahead and attach these accessory pouches, uh, sustainment pouches, whatever you want to call them, which is going to take that from being a 70 liter pack to adding two 15 liter accessory pouches and coming out with a 100 liter pack. So let me talk you through how this works. I've removed the, uh, the stuff out of the little mesh bag and you loosen these two straps. Actually, you're going to have to loosen them all the way. And you can see there's male buckles there, female buckles on this one, and zippers on both sides. And you have zippers with a collar on both sides there. So it's a pretty simple deal. We're going to zip that on and snap it up. So voila, there you have it. I've got both of the side pouches zipped on and um, I got the compression uh, straps now going around and through the belts on the side pouches and that is a much larger, a much wider and uh, um, a much more capable pack as far as carrying. Um, it goes from like I said 70 to 100 liters. That's quite a bit and, and if you have uh, familiar with the American Molly pack system uh, you know that these suspension pouches can really and I I think those suspension pouches may be a little better than the ones that, that, that we use as far as uh, their shape. They're more of a barrel shape and, and just a little better for holding. Holding things are gusseted up here and I just kind of like that design. Now, that's a pretty good pack. I, I kind of wish like the, uh, the uh, Crusader, the one, uh, the, the, the British um, military pack, that this pouch came off because if it did I could see some real possibilities for it but that's a pretty pretty nice little pack pretty nice little pack but wait there's more I found out that snug pack also made a system they call it the yoke that goes with this pack and what it does is it enables you to take these two pouches off, yes, the pouches we just put on, and attach them to this yoke to make what they consider a day pack. Now that really intrigued me because I have, I have played around for years in my head and on paper with an idea of combining 
the military backpack with a deuce gear type scenario so that you could actually take off parts of your pack and turn them into an assault pack. Now I've often thought about doing it with this part with the top cover but they've gone and done it with the um, sustainment pouches, the side pouches. So I ordered one of these bad boys off of uh, Amazon because I couldn't wait for the thrift store to find one. This was $28.95 or $29. So it came in today and we're going to put these pouches on here and just see how well it works. So the way you put this thing together is pretty crazy, but I'll talk you through it. So this is the yoke. That's the front. Your head goes right here. And this is the back. This will be against your back. These guys snap on to these male buckles there. And then they snap on down here to these male buckles. Then these pieces are going to come around and they're going to snap on to the other buckle. And what that's going to do is create the, the uh, uh, culmination of the backpack strap. So these things are going to be zipped up and sitting right next to each other, creating a 30 liter day pack or assault pack. Let's put it together. All right, so here it is all put together in all of its glory. And it works. Would I put a lot of weight in that? No, no. Because when it's said and done, it's it's just um, it's just some very lightweight deuce gear. Very lightweight deuce gear. But uh, but the idea is a sound one and an inter interesting one. So there it is, the uh, Snug Pack Bergen and the yoke system. But wait again. There's even more. I have already figured a way to screw this up. No sooner had I got this yoke thing figured out than I started wondering if they had made allowances for just one of the, uh, of the sustainment pouches to go on the yoke. So I tried it and I tried it and I couldn't make it work. But I noticed they had sent me females to all these little um, buckles. So I had all these females that I didn't need because there's already females on the uh, on the sustainment pouches. So I had all these extra extra females. So what I did is I cut them and I put four of them on the bottom of this one sustainment pouch. And that way I think I can build a yoke system with one pouch. Let's see. So there you have it, that worked. One pouch, one little day pack, just by adding those, uh, those four extra um, female buckles. Now there are a couple of mysteries to this thing. This strap right here, as it's put on, is obviously and arguably some sort of very high waist strap. Now you may have noticed when I had it put together as the double yoke system, I didn't do that. I Instead I had it ran through here just for some some support because it's really high for a waist strap and frankly it was a little tight. But I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. And here's the next mystery. These things right here. Now when you have the yoke in its proper um, uh, design, you use the female strap or buckle. But what is this part for? I never, you don't use it on the yoke system, and I don't see where you would use it here. So I don't know really what this is for. You, you could cut that off. And this would serve its purpose, and you, and you would be missing nothing that I could see. But anyway, 
So that's a pretty neat system. So it's the, uh, the 70 liter Bergen versus the 100 liter Bergen versus the 30 liter day pack or the 15 liter day pack. Very, very interesting idea. Hey, thanks for watching.